Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello, mate. <laughs> Last person I expected to see join me in the booth too, mate. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Can't can't leave you here on your own. That's all good. Uh, hello, viewers and everybody watching from around the world, and welcome to PS. No, not PS. Just F3. We are crossing him. Where we will have full qualifying today in Hungary. We have a full grid. We're just waiting for one driver to come. He's just running a bit late. So three qualifying sessions today. And yeah. It's gonna be a long one. Me. Yeah, I'm joined by David Clark temporarily. As <laughs> he has decided to punish himself a little bit before his race in F two, which starts in just under an hour. Yeah. As the first driver out onto the track, and it looks to be the Aston Martin of the Bard Tsunami, who is on a qualifying ban, so he will just be doing an outlap, just to make sure he has his setup. Otherwise, he will be getting in trouble. <laughs> You're going to be here for a while, because uh, you've got 17 minutes, plus what, another... 15 and then 12, isn't it? Something like that? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have a lot of thumb twiddling to do, to be honest. <laughs> and then a race. <laughs> and then a race, yeah. My, like we, 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 we were lucky enough last night that we joined in Q3. Yeah. So it was okay, but yeah. I've got my little book here with my track guide and everything, so it should be alright. Oh, lovely. Very yeah, organized. Bought, I know, yeah, because like, you know, it's nice to know which corners are what and everything. It's like the Formula 1 track guide for like each season. It's like a preview oh. of the season or stuff. So, yeah. Oh, so, he's, uh, he's off the track already. Yeah. As it looks like, is that Callum Lyons or is it... Ro it is Rob Knable and he will be our first driver to set a lap in Q1 as he begins to take on Sector 3, which is Turn 13 and Turn 14. What car is he at? He's in the Williams Laggy Racer. Ah, uh, I see. So if you'd like to... Uh, we're going to ride on board with Rob if you want to take us through the lap, David. Yeah. So around the final corner, you'll get a good uh, wide burst into the main straight. Uh, just keep to the left-hand side, basically. Don't want to use too much outside the track on your first lap, but he's going to do that. Nicely hit the curb. Just rest it on the outside curb. Take it back to the right-hand side. Again, resting it on that curb. Get it in. Careful on throttle, especially because it's your first lap. A little bit too deep for my liking, but it's fine. He's going to run it down now, up on an incline, and it's going to be a brake, downshift, and a flick of the steering wheel back on the throttle. He's uh, managed that very well. And uh, another tricky corner for grip, and he's, again, managed that really well. Um, careful not to go too deep. You don't want to hit the curb on the inside, which he has, but it's not ideal, but it's his first lap. And he's going in a bit deep there. Hopefully he can keep within track limits. He does. He keeps it nice and tidy. Now, another very, very fast corner. He's lifted a bit too much, but it's all good. Brake hard, flicking the steering wheel on the throttle as quickly as you can. It's not a bad lap so far. Come round one of the last corners, you can gain and lose a lot of time around here. Uh, not too bad. And you want to just make it the shortest run to the line here. And uh, what's it going to be? 117. Near 117 flat. That's Villain Magnuson yeah. needs an invite. Oh, which is okay. I just have to find him because I've got so many friends around this bloody game. Uh, next one. Oh. Uh, Mats goes P2. Um, and in the McLaren, uh, across the line, P1, a 16.2 for... I'm not going to pretend, uh, pretend I know how to say that. Callum Loins goes P2. Hockey for... Oh, my wheel is making lots of noise. How do I turn this thing off? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bad wheel! Um, and the Aston Martin of Admed goes P4 with a... Yeah. Oh, no, it goes P5 because uh, Christian Lubinov, is that how I say it? Yeah. 16.4, not too bad. A little bit of uh, kerfuffle going on here. I'm like an odd uh, kerfuffle. As the Haas slots in of, of Derry. Yeah. With Lucas Zafrania going P7 for the moment, second off the pace. Track evolution is massive here. From the 100%. difference between Q1 and Q3, could be over a second and a half in track evolution. 
so we expect these times to be in the low 15s by the end oh, of Q3. Oh, the uh, Mercedes definitely got track limits there, I think. Yeah, Lucas oh, he's has, not on a lap. But he's, well, I oh. actually hope he's not a lap because the Ferrari, of, it looks like Vince Vincenzo was in his way there. Uh, no, it's of Agro Alfie, who was watching Netflix before the, uh, today's race, watching Red <laughs> Flight MH370. The flight that disappeared and tragically all those lives were lost. Anyway, back to the car racing. So no drivers, <laughs> a few drivers left to set a lap. Uh, Little Dragon it looks Me, like for example. Little Dragon Me, Sparamalpi, they are having a fantastic time themselves and Lucas in F5. Uh, every Friday night giving us great entertainment. Speaking of Lucas, he is back into the pits and we will try and follow along with Sparrow as they are also back. Oh no, they're just leaving. Little sorry. Dragon's coming out now. Yeah. yeah. I know uh, Little Dragon pretty well. I've done a few um, few races against him. Yeah, he's uh, he's quite good. Yeah. So uh, he should be up there, at least top four, I reckon. Yeah, Sparrow definitely has the potential, as long as, long as they um, as long as they Hungary's kind of similar to Canada, where you just have to not get penalties, and after yeah, that, exactly, everything usually falls into place because this is a and, track and not for... get killed as well. Exactly, uh, that's my well, literally my well. next point. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is a track where if you can follow people very well. You'll be fine, yeah. Yeah, because exactly. there's only one overtaking zone here, and that's just the main straight. As there doesn't look to be any driver actually on a lap at the moment for Q1. I think Little Dragon Me is a close one to the line so far. Yes. Yeah, I, so. I sorry, actually, I beg your pardon. The Ferrari of Agra Alfie is currently on a lap, and they have just passed through sector one, going into the chicane. Oh yeah. That is turns six and seven. Now, coming through the tricky S section here, a few ways to handle it. You can take the car directly in fourth gear, or you can go from fifth and downshift into fourth in the second half. The S's. Now, turn 11, very easy to invalidate here, which he does not do. Sets so a purple sector too, apparently. Coming into turn 12, which is an overtaking zone, if you track are brave limits. enough. Very close to track limits there. Coming into the double apex now, turn 12. Or th turn 13, I beg your pardon. Now, turn 14. Easily can lose the car here as Stephen Prabhu did unfortunately for him last night in F5. He uses as much of the track as possible there, and that's going to be a 118 flat. Lots to improve there. Yeah, I think Alfie was smart there. He, um, he, I think he did go over track limits, but he slowed down enough that he didn't get evaluated for it. So yeah, I think as a little track of me now, pushing, uh, pushing the throttle pedal. Yeah, and he's. Oh, I oh, thought he was just, just about kept it in there, there yeah. And turned yeah. into turn five and a long sweeping right hander. Now coming up. Very to harsh chicane coming up. Yeah. Oh, that's, Again, that's pretty decent. Ooh, oh, he's lost the rear. A little bit of a wobble there now. Coming into the S's, as we said before. Keeps the car sweat steady. This is Sparrow's first race with no traction. So well done to them. They are dropping the assists and the times will drop as a result coming into turn 12 now car should be in fourth gear or third gear decides elects to put it in third quickly back up to fourth now the double apex as we said of turn 12 that's pretty clean and what is this going to be i reckon a uh, p5 probably p5 is the prediction by mr clark oh <laughs> so just double where you're off but it's okay <laughs> You don't have to be the fastest driver in Q1. You have to be the fastest driver in Q3. A lot of ch yeah. championship points on oh, offer. Williams. That's the Williams. I think that's a uh, Madden Cup. Adam Matsuyuk on a flyer there. Hopefully he wasn't impeded by that now. And it looks like there's a Mercedes slowing down. That was Sparrow just letting Lucas Zafraniak through. As Speaking of Lucas Zafraniak, they've left the session. And we'll try and get them back in ASAP. Slightly confused of because um, that Williams is on very low battery, but he's pushing. Maybe he's just trying to decide to go around for a second run. Possibly, possibly. As I'm trying to find Lucas, but I can't find him. My friend says, ah! Is he improving? That's what we'll see. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's two tenths up, two and a half tenths up um, oh. in the Williams. If it works, it works. P5. Good exit there. Come around the last corner now. A little bit tentative on the throttle. I think he will improve, though. And he does, P4. Nice. Sticks into P4. It's a good start for Adam. Callum Lyons into P2, though. 
What is going on here? <laughs> uh, Phosphor's on an outlap. He's just come around the last corner, actually. So we're going to start a lap with Phosphor. The man on um, provisional P1 for Q for Q1. He doesn't yeah. think he's safe, apparently. So it likes to go around again. So coming into turn one, very tricky traction zone here. As it's a double DRS zone here, it is easy to lose the car as a result of that. Now, turn two, again, another tricky tr um, traction, not, not necessarily traction heavy zone, but it can be tricky to get the braking correct and the best line. Yeah. As the camber is going away from me, it, it's down, uh, the gradient is downhill. Now, up to turn three, or sorry, four, very oh, easy to evaluate that, and he's on the, yeah, I was gonna say, he's literally on the grass there, mowing it, and that will be the end of that lap. <laughs> he was on the scrubs, probably. Yeah, I, uh, the tires are just on screaming on this track the whole time. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, <coughs> snooze on our outlap, his teammate. I don't know who else is close to the line. Melberg, maybe? Um, Where is Melberg? I can't even see him. Oh, there he's in the house. Uh, no, Snooze, yeah. I think, is ahead of Melberg on yeah. the track. Villa Magazin recently promoted from F4 up to F3. It was just, it was just way too quick for F4. Um, and he's where he should be, which is good to see. Because it can't be fun winning races by 10, 15 seconds or more. <laughs> it just can't yeah. be. It's just boring. Do you know what I mean? Like, you've no competition. Like, it's, it must be how Verstappen feels. Anyway, we won't worry about real life F1 because it is a snooze fest at the moment. Qualifying was dreadful this morning. Yeah. Good job I didn't get to watch it. I, like, naturally woke up at half six because, like, just, you know, because it's the time I normally wake up for, for work. And I was like, oh, I might as well see what's, what's happening with quality. And I was like, oh, for God's sake, Max is just storming away with it as usual. <laughs> anyway, Villa on his lap, turn one, manages to keep the car quite steady there on the exit of one. DRS wide open on the run down to two now. This, this area of the track is very famous for Verstappen and Daniel Ricciardo coming to blows a few years ago. Now into turn four. In the last game, this was known as a turn of death. Uh, very easy to lose the car and go into outer space. <laughs> Bit too much curve there for my liking for turn five, but it's okay. Into the chicane, which is turn six and seven. Now coming up to the S's of eight and nine. That oh, that's a good way. Oh, okay. Uh, he's lost quite a bit of lap time there, probably. Oh, uh, that's Cal Mines. And that a lap might be even aborted by the looks of it. It is not. Villa will push on, but that will have cost him quite a bit of time. Hopefully, it doesn't cost him the Q1 or the Q2 uh, spot, should I say. As we've lost Sparrow now as well. Uh, I can try and invite him. Mm -hmm. uh, and this will probably be in the 117s for Villa just because of that impeding there. Yeah. No, it's still quite oh, a respectable he's, time. He's he must have been quite a bit up then. Yeah. He, was, he had a purple sector one. From what we saw, so again, track evolution playing a big, big part here. I think oh, everyone yeah. from P P ten downwards needs to go out again. Yeah, hundred percent. And this is the excitement of full quality. When you have a near enough full grid, it's uh. To be honest, from P ten to about where is it? P ten to about P fourteen is covered by what? Three tenths, four tenths, something like that. Uh, P ten to P fourteen. Three tenths, just just over, just yeah. under four tenths, yeah. So it's uh, it's all to play for in the in the or well, the, the knockout is fifteen to twenty, right? Or fifteen mm. to nineteen in our case, but yeah, anyone can go down, that's for sure. So I'd say with track evolution, we are probably looking at a one sixteen point eight, I would say one sixteen point nine as the cutoff. I would say that's the. Okay. Yeah, which is about four tenths. These drivers need to, some of them need to find Master Heart on the elimination point. He needs to have. Did he used to be an F2 or F3? No, no. Matt's, Matt's has been an F3 all season. He hasn't raced in quite a while here. Oh. Uh, as Darius Bowden now sets the fastest lap of the race. That's a good lap. Coloring. Yeah, that's a very solid lap for Q1. Setting the pace nice and early. As a lot of the drivers are electing not to come out just yet, they're going to wait a little bit longer. And here comes one of the Mercedes now. I think that's Sparrow. No, it's Lucas Zafraniak, but it looks of it. Mass is pushing hard. 
as Faki Fur believes he is safe and will not come out again. Yeah, I agree. You like you said before, point uh, point eight. I reckon that's probably about it. Yeah. Why else goes? Two. Yeah. Christian also believing he is safe. Uh, yeah. Which, like you said, which... I think anyone up until about P10 is probably needs to go. Yeah. yeah Callum we'll Lloyd thinks that. he's not safe. Callum coming out again, is he? And that Ooh, is... Ooh. I said it looked like a good one. It, it was. P3. Pretty solid. Yeah, P3. Track Evolution may be playing a massive part here. Very, very solid stuff from Matt's in the Red Bull. Great Maybe stuff. that's the idea. You uh, you play the gamble of going late for Track Evolution, but if you mess up that lap, then uh, it's it's no no, no uh, lap for you, basically. It's Bella Ciao. Now, uh... Rich Puente's the reserve in the Red Bull today, he is going to have to get out if he wants to guarantee his survival. He has two very quick drivers in Lucas Afraniak and Sparrow Malpi behind him. Also, Alex Theodore is around somewhere. I think he's on a lap, actually. He's on the medium tyres, though, for some strange reason. But we will see what he does now. Riding on board with Alex, going up to turn four now. Makes a bit of curve, that's okay. Plays it extra cautious there to not invalidate as it's so easy to do so. Coming into the tricky chicane now, as you said before, so eloquently, David, you have to avoid the curve there, especially the sausage part of it. Yeah. Quite clean through the S's as well. That's a very nice line. Yep, from Alex. Keep it tight here, though. Yeah. You just want to kiss that outside curve on the entry to 11. This is a good lap, I think. Yeah, very solid. Up nearly nine tenths, nearly a whole second. Bit of a moment there in 12, but it's okay. Coming into 13, you want to avoid the grey part of the inside of this curve here. Otherwise, the car goes into a little depression and you will lose time. Up to 14 now. Bit wide initially, but he's kept it nice and tight. As Willem Magnussen's retired, he believes he is safe. And that's going to be a 160. It's a 117 flat nearly, and he proves for over a second. Ooh, but is that enough? Safe. He's not safe at all. A nah. lot of traffic now ahead of these drivers. Well, think about it. They've got to find less than a less, way less than a tenth to go ahead of him. So, yeah. as Ahmed needs to get out of the way here of Lucas Afraniak, he's really impeding him here in his final lap attempt. Oh, yeah. A lot of dirty air there. Will that have compromised him? Well, clearly not, because Lucas Afraniak goes provisional P2 in this Q1 session. Great stuff. I thought he was in a bit of trouble because of the dirty air there. Evidently not. Yeah. I think that's laggy racers going to P6. Bios yeah. doesn't look to be coming out again. Now, Sparrow Malpy, you are at the bottom of the pile. What can you do, sir? Going through Sector 2 now, turn 6 and 7, coming up to the S's of 8 and 9. Needs a big improvement here. Oh, nearly Eight over section. a second. Lovely helicopter cam for turn 11 here. Coming to 12, as I Agro Alfie sets... And 116 flat for provisional P2, as that is the end of qualifying, so any driver on a lap will be get, getting a chance to finish it, but that is it. Coming around Alex turn 12, out. or coming around turn 13, sorry, and that will be the end of Alex Theodore's session. Now, so What's now it going to be, Zolf? It's 116, and that... Oh! Oof. That is just on the line here, but as Rich, <sighs> Rich Puentes knocks out Sparrow, unfortunately for them... And that is qualifying that one. done and dusted. I wouldn't be happy about it either now. I feel sorry for the lad. They've, uh, they're really pushing. They're improved by over a second. But as we said, 118 was the cutoff time. And Ville Magnussen will be knocked out of qualifying. Along with Sparrow and Alex Tidor. And obviously Ozan Uznar. Who had a qualifying ban. Now Derry Phillips. I don't know Derry Phillips. Derry's going to the pits. And Lucas Sofraniak will be doing the same as I'm assuming just to not wear the tires by another lap. And I'm gonna go to the toilet. This is a long quad this is long man. We're really, <laughs> really in the time. Oh back in a second. Sorry. Right. Yeah, so that is it. I uh quite surprised by some of the names that went out and that stayed in to be honest. Um especially Sparrow. That's very surprising. Um Callum Loins, I think he was on another lap, but I don't know if he improved on that. I don't think so. Um, that is your Q1. Um, yeah, you're gonna see lap times probably improve by around. 
I don't want to say half a second, but probably around that, four tenths maybe. Um, well, maybe at the end of Q2 anyway. Um, so yeah, we have got the that's the bottom five for four in our case gone. And coming up in Q2, another five are going to go. And then it is the top ten shootout for the um, for, for Q1. So, um, KSK Snek in P1, uh, shortly followed one tenth away um, from Agra Alfie, then uh, Zafraniak, uh, I think that is, yeah, uh, and it only covered by just under just under a tenth, yeah, um, and then about a tenth gap then between him P4, P5 we got uh, Madda, and Phosphor in the McLaren, Malberg and the Haas in P6, Matt's uh, Matt's the heart in P7, and yeah. As we are joined by Sparrow Mulby. Hello. Who can talk us through what happened there on the, the last lap of time. What happened, mate? What, what, what was the story? Did you just not push enough, or were you impeded, or did something, did you get a snap of oversteer? Well, on the first lap, I had a huge snap of oversteer, um, which didn't go great, and then... Second lap, I just didn't push enough. Oh, wow. So, it's disappointing to be knocked out in Q1, but these things happen. It's yeah. a shame to hear. It's a shame to hear after uh, what seemed like a promising afternoon for you. But look, these things happen. Race still to come. Yep. You've got one teammate left in the race and in, in the qualifying session. Well, I I'm blaming it on um, my no TC. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just because even though I have been practicing with this for like a week, mm -hmm. it's just yeah. But are you on manual gears? No, no, I'm not. Yeah, you see, you need to be on manual gears because then you can short shift. As the has of uh, Derry Phillips is a massive moment in turn one there, and um, when you're on manual gears, it'll really help because you can short shift. Yep. Yep. Um, especially like that's how I was saying to you about turn one, for example. Like, it, the game says to be in second gear, but you need to be in third gear. 100%. Yep. <clears throat> 100%. But True. the only downside for that is I'm on a controller. Same. So I, I need to get used to that. Just like... Do you, have, um, do you have paddles? Um, no, I don't. Okay. So I'd have to use X square and X. square, but either way. But see, your thumb is—you're not using your thumb though, like in this game. So mm, it was just really. Alex. You're not well. You're only using your thumb to look around, but like even then, like you know, you don't have to necessarily use it. Well, if, uh, you, if you know Geo, he he plays a controller and he does um, manual gears as well, and obviously yeah. self as well. Yeah. yeah. Crystal. Jeans, yeah, Chris jeans does a uh, jeans is on controller. Yeah. That's real we'll right on board with Derry Phillips, who'll be the first driver to very sit. wide line. Yeah, really wants to uh, maximize. Yeah, really wants to maximize the track. <laughs> on the run down to turn when we go, breaking about the hundred meter board. Has a bit of a lock up there actually. Doesn't use as much of the track as he could. Not a bad exit though. No, it looks really doing okay. Oh, a little bit of a real lock up there. Mm. Pretty yeah. neat, pretty neat. Looks okay now on the run down to turn four. Takes a lot of curve there though. Yeah. Yeah. I think the tires down to the chicane. Key. On the exit of the chicane, you kind of want to be touching the uh, just a bit just behind the uh, from the grass, just like that. Yeah. And flick it in, maximize your turn in. Oh my god, I thought he went to a <laughs> wall was, or something then. That was decent there or something, I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh yeah, that and then, uh, in, um, F5, I think, with your lap, though. Did it, yeah. Oh. To be honest, yeah, there was a lot of complaints about ever desync last night. Um, I know, yeah. But myself and Ollie Boy, we didn't actually feel it, because we were away from everybody. 66. Times are already beginning to drop compared to the Q1 times. 
Dairy P2 by, what was that, 2,000th of a second, something like that? Mm, 13,000, uh, yeah. I want to have a look at my teammate here, Sofraniak. Mr. As he goes around the S section, as Phosphor goes P3, across sector 2 line now is Mats with a 16 2. Into the final sector, around the penultimate corner. Take, takes a pretty decent line, around the final corner. The Franiak. Across the oh, line, oh, huge moment! Oh my lord, in massive snap Guns there. P3 though. Doesn't invalidate. On, the race Lubinov director being very nice there to him, as Christian Lubinov sets the fastest lap so far. That's more like it. Oh. Christian I'd famously said at the start down. of the season that he could be, he should be an F2, and that this is an easy tier for him. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, everyone was saying Lubinov should be an F2, even I said that. Well, he hasn't won a race yet, though. That is very true. I, I don't think that time would hold up in, <laughs> in, um, in, F2. in F2. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. He could probably be in it, um, but whether he'd be contending for stuff is a different story. As <laughs> Callum Loins, Ooh. yeah, goes P2. Good lap from him. Oh, there's Just a lot of traffic now in sector 2 here. There's a lot of traffic in Sector 3. There's a lot of traffic everywhere on the track. Oh, God. I was just having a look at the standings here. Christian is indeed on top of the standings. He actually did win the last race. I beg your pardon. He, he won in Canada. I wasn't, I wasn't commenting for that. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Well, um, you know, it was a shocking race for me anyway. And to be honest, I think Canada should be never, never again raced in ERO because it is a shambles. Who yep. used that? Uh, Christian Lubinov, he actually won last week. Oh. We had yeah, three Joe M. Was doing the commentary yeah. on that and, one. and Joe's pretty good in comms, isn't he? Yeah, he's quite good. Uh, as Darius Bowden now. Oh, I'm sorry, Rob Kinable, not Darius Bowden. Setting it at 116.5. <laughs> I'm, I'm mixing up people here. Uh, putting him provisionally P6, just narrowly ahead of his teammate in the other Williams. Um, but yeah, there's been three races, three different winners. Christian won last week. The week before was won by the Ferrari of Vince Vincenzo. I remember that race. And well, yeah, first race, I, I remember that as well. And the first race was won by William Matthews, who's not here this evening for some strange reason. Where are you, William? Are you meant to be racing today? Let me check this. No, he's, he's not. He's not. Past, so you're not sure why, though. Yeah, he's not, yeah. Rich and Sector 2 going round the Final few corners. Yeah, Rich Fuentes are. He's got a bit of traffic Round in front of him. Truth here in 13. Coming up to 14. That Alfa Romeo needs to get out of the way, though, just to not compromise him with the dirty air. He should be fine. Yeah. Across the line. 16. Point nine. Oh! What a that. And Lucas Safraniak has invalidated, I'm assuming, on. Oh, cool. Lucas. No, that wasn't a cool down lap. I'm sure he's just going to dive into the pits now. Yeah, he's probably going to dive into the pits. Does uh, this tier have a lobby restart? No, no, there hasn't been uh, one discussed yet. But, uh, if need be. As Vino sets the fastest sector one, I just saw that. Ooh. Through the chicane. Into yeah. the nice little left. S section. Flicks in nicely. Uh, Vince Vincenzo. Deserving driver of that Ferrari. That's a purple Fast sector, sector two. Mm. Coming into turn 12 now. Car in third gear. This looks okay. Up to 13. Lovely sweeping shot here. That's oh, a bit of a very wobble there. Corner on traction. Yeah. Some people have suggested lowering the diff to 50 days to help attraction, but that's going to be P6. P6. I think that snap that's... cost him by two tenths. Bios yeah. goes P7. Mm, Lex Hald, who is an F4 driver, but was unable to race last night. So is making it up here. Alex Tidor has raced in this in this tier every week. As a yellow flag in Sector 1, that's okay. It's the half of... Uh, Derry, Derry Phillips, yeah. I think. He's two tenths up in his time, or just under two tenths as he goes into the final sector. Now he's three tenths up in his time, rapidly improving, coming into turn 12. 
what can you do, Derry? Can you get yourself out of the danger zone? You are currently there. One of the five drivers that will be eliminated if it was to end now under a red flag, which we don't have in qualifying in this game. Round 14, and that's going to be in the 15s, is it? No, P2. just shy. That's a lovely lap from you, Derry. Great stuff. 3,000 for a second. Mm. David, what do you think the elimination time here is? We weren't too I far off last time. I would probably say... Uh, a point five, like a flat five, I think. Mm -hmm. A flat five, I okay. Reckon, yeah, a 16.5 around that. I don't think it'll particularly change from now, really. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Uh, what what do you think? Yeah, I think you're you're spot on. Yeah, about three tenths is is fair enough because we were quite we were quite near enough correct for Q one Q one, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Was, I think it was point seven point uh, seven five. Oh, and Med goes yeah. wide at turn four. It wasn't invalidate. Med needs to get out of the danger zone. Oh, early turning. He smashed both curbs. Is this uh, lap time going to yield any places? I don't think so. Um, we'll have to keep going on board with him though. And he's invalidated. That's uh, that's the end of his lap. Down anyway, six tenths down. Yeah, yeah, that's the end of his uh, his lap. He should probably whack on a new set and go again because yeah. otherwise he's going to be out. Yeah. Majority of drivers in the pits waiting for. Oh Jesus! <laughs> As Raphael decides to make his own track limits. Um... <laughs> Okay, it's, uh, just Cameron and Matthew are jousting in the commentary chat. Normal Saturday night behaviour in ERO. As we Rich see the Alpine. Start, Rich is about to start, is it? Well, we're right on with Rich because nobody yeah. else is there. Round and round the final corner into turn one. DRS oh, wide so open. So in needs DRS, to by DRS by draining. A needs to improve by half a second here, David. That's what you said, so. Yep. Oof. And uh, big lock up. Very tensive on the throttle. We need to get to the right hand side. Good. You want to just scrape the outside curb, ring it right in. Don't want to get too much close to that white curb. That's pretty good line. Swing it back in. That's pretty decent. Now, uh, a lot of people find this uh, corner quite difficult to not validate on. And Oof. he's not going to be joining one of them people. Uh, and down to the chicane where we see most of these drivers making mistakes. Um, is it going to be good? It's not ideal, but it's it's going to hopefully yield him a bit of lap time. Uh, Rest is lagging. crying outside the curb. He's lagging a lot, yeah. yeah. He's lagging a lot, yeah. It's really hard to tell whether he's doing a good lap or not. <laughs> but um, he is three tenths off currently. <laughs> he is, yep. Yeah. And uh, you want to just literally slam the throttle down, rest it on the curb, throw it in as hard as you can, just get the car rotated, bit of understeer. And he's gonna, yeah, because the understeer, it's then to oversteer. And uh, he rounds around the final corner a little bit too wide, the truth be known. DRS open to the line. And uh, that's, that's not gonna be enough. Yeah, that's probably his qualifying over. Well, he has time to go, he has time to do uh, another lap to, to charge the battery up if he has the fuel for it. Uh, it doesn't say his fuel on his steering yeah. while I'm trying to look. Yeah, that's yeah. annoying. Darius Bowden uh, preparing for his last lap. Snick. So is everybody else, to be honest. Christian Lubinov elected to come out again, believing he is not safe, even though... He's P1. He's P1, <laughs> yeah. Derry Phillips thinking he is safe and he will stay in the bits. Four. Maybe he's just practicing. Maybe he's just practicing. Practice? He doesn't need practice. He should be an F1. <laughs> As the Ferrari of Vince Vincenzo will come out again as well. Believing they are not safe. Ooh, His teammate. Huge uh, snap for Callum. Very Callum Lyons in P3 as well. Bit of a tricky corner here now. Very much turn three. That becomes a very traction heavy zone later on in the race. Oh, there's a Haas. He's it. kept well out of the way. <laughs> well, he's, he's went to Brooklyn there. Heilberg <laughs> just making sure he's definitely out of the way. Mm. That is the best best yeah. chicane I've seen so far. And this great. is not an ideal way. place to be. 
That oh. is not ideal. It's definitely going to be distracting him, but I don't think he would have lost lap time from it. Agro, uh, there. Throwing it into the right hand. Uh, I would say that's pretty much ideal. Um, and he's up in his time as well. That's a purple sector too. Yep. Slam the throttle down. He's, he's absolutely wedged out on the curb perfectly. Uh, that's pretty much all you need. Again, a bit of mid-corner understeer, but he doesn't care. Uh, this is gonna probably going to be, I reckon, P2 or P3 here if he is improving. Uh, oh, oh, it's the final corner. He has a bit of a snap. I might have lost him a bit of lap time, and it has. And he still has improved, though, just ever so slightly, but that's okay. For Callum, I think that's enough to survive into, P, into Q3. Further down the field, Laggy Racer is the driver at risk. And he is improving by three tenths as Darius Bones is the fastest lap now. But over half a second, talk about dumping on the field. Now, what can Rob do here? I've lap time in Q3, but I did in practice early Ooh. today. Laggy Racer, P2. P2, great stuff from so him. So, Niak on the, uh, the, the driver at risk. risk. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's what I meant to that, say. That's the one, yeah. Coming through the final corner, and he's going to set a 116 Go flat on, nearly. Yes. Look at the, look at these times between P2 and P5, P6, yeah, P7 that's, that's even. Pretty, yeah, that's ridiculous. Talk about a balanced field, eh? That's amazing stuff. As of, we've, uh, we've been proved wrong with the lap times. A point three is the elimination. Oh, my God. Maybe. It, it could still improve. As <laughs> Lubinov nearly loses it around the penultimate corner. Now, Vince Vincenzo, the driver at risk, starting his final lap, coming out of turn one. It looks like a bit of decent again, or lag. Wants to keep the car in sixth gear here for the optimal time. But does not. Anyway, pushing on. You can tell he practices and doesn't practice. Just just from, <laughs> from the gears. Coming up to turn Beautiful five here now. Line three, four by now into six and seven we go. The chicane, that's pretty clean as well, if I do say so. And takes just as much curb as David said was the optimal amount. You can easily lose the car on the exit of the S's as well there. Lex not to though, coming up to 11. Pretty clean, extending the track as much as possible. Up over two tenths in this time. Into 12 we go. It's very clean for Vince. Two corners left. Just has to keep his composure. Yeah, very easy to stab the throttle and get impatient and uh, yeah. lose the car. Matt's P2. Holy. That's and that's going to be in the 15s, is it? It oh. is going to be in the 15s. Wow. Elimination is a flat. Wow. Wow. What an improvement in the track, Callum eh? Callum Lyons is out. No way. And that wow. snap of oversteer Callum Lyons got is going to cost him dearly. Rafael Medros, the last driver, will he improve? No, he will not. Come on, Lucas, into Q3. Come on. Mr. Zafraniak has, an, has managed to survive, and we will lose Callum, Ahmed, Rich, Lex, and Alfie. Alfie watching what too much Q2? Netflix and not practicing. And what a Q2 is right. P6 to the elimination point is like between like your teeth, honestly. Yeah. Four hundred? Four tenths? No, hundreds. Four hundreds? Yeah, P6 to P7 is three thousandth of a second, P6 and the to same P8 to P7 to P8 now. as well. Oh my god. Yeah. Four. Great stuff, lads. Great stuff. As we enter into Q3, where there is 12 championship points on offer for whoever gets P1. Just to round out qualifying, the second qualifying session, Darius Bowden on top, followed by Matt Hard, then Malberg, Vince Vincenzo, who we rode on board with their amazing final lap by him, Laggy Racer P5, Christian Luvenau P6, Derry Phillips, Lucas Safraniak, Adam Matsuyuk, and the F word in P10. <laughs> Callum Lyons, Ahmed, Rich, Bios, and Alfie all eliminated. Unfortunately for them, they can go take That's a rest. A crazy, crazy qualifying session there. Look at that. Look at, those de look at the delta there. Literally nothing. If you feel for Callum Lyons, he's been eliminated by 18 thousandths of a second. Lucky that bodes well for Q3. Does indeed. It does. And I would just like to say, Wrongson is being brought Watch. to watch his phone. Don't, don't ask what? questions. Just, just, it's, it's a story for a different day. Yeah. Where, where's this? The commentator room. Oh, let's have a little bit He's in. He's in. 
So, 12 minutes to go to determine who will be on pole position for F3. Will it be Adam Matsuyak? Will it be Terry Phillips? Will it be Matt Hart? He's shot a lot of pace here today. Who will it be? My phone is going crazy with pings here. My watch is going crazy with pings here. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Little Apple Watch Flex. You can hear it, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just going bazookas here. <laughs> as, as Rodwell Congrats. is promising Callum Lyons that he will make Q3, we will be watching you in F2. As a few drivers have gone on track, it looks like Derry Phillips will be the first driver again. So, can I ask you a question? Of course you can, sir. By any chance, we be jumping into the F2. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll, g I'll give you my. I'll give you my partner's phone number. You call her, and you outline the reasons why I, I should do comms <laughs> for F2 instead of eating dinner. Because I'm racing this one. I, 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 as much as I would love to do it. Yeah, fair enough. I don't blame um, you. I might join in for some Q1 just to ease the pain. <laughs> Guess who's disconnected? You, uh, I will invite you back, my friend. It's me! Well, you Lad, your internet is something else. I know, mate. I disconnected three times in F5 yesterday. And you caused absolute chaos every time you rejoined. Yep. <laughs> I, I tried to rejoin under safety car periods, but... Yep. Uh, lucky. It is what it is. Laggy Racer doing a very slow outlap. Uh, although we're going to start with Derry, I think he's close yeah. to the line. Mr. Phillips, the um, the tire warming up glitch here, where you just hold your, hold your uh, finger on the brake while accelerating, warms the tires up to no end here, and you don't burn any of the tire away. Anyway, enough secrets from me. Into uh, into turn one, bit of a lock up there from Derry, as we've seen again as Sparrow rejoins the session. Callum says he went out in a used set of tyres. Unfortunately for him, that's why he didn't improve as much as he should have, thinking he was safe. On that's the part it. of the track, which I think should be a DRS zone, more so than that little excuse of the one we have, <laughs> up to turn four, and now into turn five, the long sweeping left-hander. Again, you have to stay away from the grey parts of the kerb here. They are lethal for the car, and the car will bottom out if you test it into the S's of Sector 2, as the Bard Tsunami has rejoined from his sabbatical. I forgot he's in, even in his race, to be honest, he's been away for that long. Through the S's we go, into turn 11. One of the last Ooh, few places you can invalidate. Well, I tuned into Adam Matusiak, just going well over the curb. I think it's in the outlap, though. On out of 12, from the double apex, the left-hander, into the right-hander, that is 14, sorry, it was 13 before. Can lose the oh. car here. Oh, speaking of losing the car, almost does there, and that's going to be in the one fifteen point eight. And we are already well into the win the fifteens here. Next across the line is Rob Canable, and he sets a sixteen. Speaking of fifteens, yeah, follow closely Lucas now. Uh, Lucas Franiak next across the line, zero. sixteen flat nearly. Followed by the Red Bull of Mats, and what's he going to set? Also a sixteen. So not massive improvements here from the from the Q two times just yet. Scrubs, I suspect. Yep. Story does check out. Myelberg is lagging like mad on my screen. Blow yeah. it Myelberg has become too, a lagberg. <laughs> lagberg. <laughs> has a bit of understeer on the exit of 12. Uh, probably again because of the scrub sots. Coming up to 13. It looks pretty clean. Up to 14 now. Again, you're just going uphill the whole time or downhill in this track. That's a 115.7. That's a mega lap. That's a Haas 1 2, something you'll never see in real life at the moment. Oh, that's that, depressing. That is what it is. Vince Vincenzo now starting his lap. And the only driver not out is Christian Lubinov, who elects to not set a time on the scrub softs. Believes he's trying to he be can, different. He's Leaving trying to be edgy. Bite, he says. <laughs> He's trying he, to he wants the highlight reel of uh, coming out for one lap and putting it on pole. Yeah. Well, he and then just type easy in the chat, yeah? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Hashtag, yes. oh, I should be in F2. Hashtag, <laughs> we'll eat you into F1 if you keep this up. 
<laughs> yeah, and he's literally just said in the chat, leaving it late. Well, we'll be watching. Yeah. As there is. I am going to have to make an exit, I think. Yeah, you've got, you've got F2 starting, mate. We wish you the best of luck. Yeah, luck, thank you very much, guys. I will, try and, I will try and get in at some point. Nah, that's alright, mate. Yeah, just do what you got to do. Whoa. Darius Bode went as well with the fastest lap. I mean, 9,000 faster, though, than Milberg. Where is Vincent Vincenzo going to be here? P5. Adam Matusiak set a purple middle sector to go around the final corner mm. and across the line. Where is this going to put him? P4. P4. Mm. Time's beginning to drop now. And what do you think pole is going to be, Sparrow? What's uh, the I time? think a pole is going to be probably like a 15-2. Yeah, I was thinking the exact same number. Yeah. Maybe a 15 1, it all depends on if people can pull the lap together. Yeah, 15 1 2 5 is what I'm, ha I'm having in my head. I don't know why. Yeah. But I think a massive improvement's going to happen here, especially when the drivers come out on their newer tyres. New As Fossifer is coming out now, Christian's still getting its hand in Budapest with the sun raining down on us. Fossifer warming up his tyres now for his attempt. He's got to be careful though, because he's only going to have... If he doesn't time this correctly, he may only have one attempt though, because he'll have to go back into the pits. Yeah, Very that is set. something that nearly happened to me last season in my debut. Mm. As I went... It was the weirdest <laughs> qualifying session ever. Yeah. So it was like... Basically wet, but slicks. It's been that's happened a lot this season in F5, where there's been rain, light rain, and just I just call it the global warming effect, basically, where there's like nearly rain every race, but it's not like wet weather, like DRS yep. doesn't get deactivated or anything. So, as Adam Matsu, it it's a pain in the backside because you're like you're so liable to lose the car. Yeah. So we're only two drivers on track at the moment. Only one driver now on track. As I think Laggy Racer goes into the fence. Or is it Darius Bowden? Anyway, we will ride on board with Fossifer. Furkran Imitaz, I think is his name. On the run down to turn one DRS. Disabled. Now it'll be shortly re enabled as we see the rear wing opening back up. Giving you about an extra 17 kilometers per hour. But that, that DRS straight isn't long enough to actually get any benefit from it. Like, I've never seen an overtake there. Um, yep. Very, very, unless someone has a terrible exit. Coming up to the run up to turn five, the long sweeping right hander, as we've said about 20 times in this qualifying session. Into the chicane. Keeps it relatively clean there, extending the track as much as possible as we go into the S's. Takes a bit too much curb there for my liking in the exit there of the S's. Into 11 now, that's fine. Was there a downshift there? It sounded like there was a downshift as he set a purple sector two into fourth gear. That's fine. Can give you an outright advantage or outright extra bit of traction. Into 13. Now finally 14. Past the detection point for DRS. And that will be in the 15s, I think. That'll be a 15 8. Good enough for P4 at the moment. Now. Does he have enough time to get back in? I don't think so. I think that's his qualifying finish. No, it definitely doesn't. He has to yeah. do a lot. Go into yeah. the pits, get new tyres. It's not going to happen. He, well, he's going to be racing back in, as he's, we can clearly see he's racing, as a few drivers have come back out and track for their final runs. Adam Matsuak being one of them. The other Williams of Laggy Racer also being out. And this is going to be their final attempts. So maybe coming out a bit prematurely as Christian Lubinov has finally graced us with his presence. Let's hope he doesn't. Let's hope he doesn't invalidate now because he'll be right in a bit of spot of bother. Yep, as Darius Bodine mm. completes sector one and is tiny bit down on his time. Into the chicane we go. Potentially see an interesting pole. 
Well, as we said, about six tenths is what the, the improvement that we expect, give or take at least half a second anyway. Yellow flag in sector one, and that looks to be the Williams that's gone off the track. I can't tell which one. This is Laggy Racer. Laggy Racer, is it? Yep. Purple sector two for Darius. Five, Coming to turn 12. Four. Well, that's what we said. Oh, God, this is going to be fun. Okay, round the penultimate corner. Now, round the final corner. What will it be here? And across the line. 15 2. Is that enough? That's the question. Is that enough? As we were right on board with Christian Lubinov. Gospodin Lubinov at Bulgaria. See what he can do. As he's about to set off now. Here we go. True turn 14. What can you do after all the talk? All the yapping. Giving it stick in the chat the whole time. As Fossifer has indeed retired from the session, he will not come out again. True turn three here. Keeping it pretty steady so far. There's a lot of pressure on Christian here to deliver now. He only has one shot at this. He's got one shot, one opportunity <laughs> to capture it. Alright, M&M. Sorry, just quoting Lucas from Canada. Oh, you couldn't hurt off yourself. Anyway, coming to turn six and seven, a lot of curb there, a bit too much as Fruity has randomly enjoyed the session. Should be in the F2 lobby, not the F3. But anyways. Yeah, Fastest middle sector for Lubinov. What can he do? Through the penultimate corner. As Fruity's left the session now, and that's going to be annoying for some people. Yeah, there's going to be a bit of decent there as a result of that. Anyway, coming through turn 14 now, what can Christian do? Will this be provision? Will this be pole position here as qualifying has finished? It's going to be a 115.7. Not good enough. Should have come out earlier. Anyway, following up here, going up to Derry Phillips. What is Derry Phillips going to set? That's going to be P2 for him. The 115.6. Milberg! Oh my lord. Other drivers finishing now as Lucas Safranek round the final corner. Going to be oh in the gosh. 16s for him. That's not going to be good enough. He's not going to improve, unfortunately. Staying in P7. Adam Matsuek now. That was two. Yeah, and it really was, unfortunately for you. Coming through third to 13, Adam Matsuek not going to improve into the pits. He goes now. It's down to Vince Vincenza up to P5 for him. Last but not least, Mats to her. It was invalidated, and that will be qualifying. So a bit of an anticlimactic uh, finish there. About a, we were about a tenth off. Um, I was miles off. You were closer. You said you said one fifteen two, didn't you? Yeah, I did. So, props to you for the good shout. Yep. And now we have. I know this division well. <laughs> you you know you know your man down very well, as the boys would say. <laughs> and now it's twenty five laps up and coming for us. As Darius Bowden will yeah. get 12 championship points for that P1. Well done to him. Yeah. A lot to digest there. I think a lot of missed opportunities for a lot of drivers there. Christian as well, I think, will be ruining a missed chance. Especially me. Mm, and Sparrow as well. Yeah, you can knock down in Q1. I would also just like to ask, as, uh, did you capture my spin? No. I think I think oh. David seen it, but uh, yes, as Christian calls Darius is the Romanian Charles Leclerc, <laughs> and that will wrap up qualifying. Just to round it out here, Darius Bowden P1, Milberg in P2, Derry Phillips P3, Christian Lubinov P4, Vince Vincenza, Fossi for Adam Matsuak, Lucas Zafraniak, Matt Stahart, and Rob Knebel rounding out the rest of the field. So. Let's hope everyone gets away cleanly into turn one. Yep, and I will leave now as I will rejoin Lucas. Yeah. And yeah. Best luck, mate. You'll be fine. Yep. Just survive. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it's right. not rain. See ya. Good luck. Thank you. Now it's just my lonesome in the, bo the booth. 
after having the fantastic Sparrow and David Clark with me, keep me company for Q1 and Q2. Well, most of Q2, most of Q3 with David. And thank you very much to Sparrow as well. Anyway, just waiting for drivers to finalize their strategies and subs. And we'll be underway. Not a cloud in the sky in Hungary for 25 laps, each lap being 4.3 kilometers in length. Yeah, so we'll see what happens now. The fastest lap here is by Verstappen, actually, with a 120. Anyway, enough jargon at me. One, two, three, four, five red lights, and we are out, and away we go. Darius Bowden looks to get away okay here. Bit of, oh, bit of wheel spin from him, but he's okay. Milberg not really challenging with the moments to, uh, to stick behind. Further down the field, everyone looks to be okay as they run into turn one. And there's a lot of contact there, and the Williams is in the wall, but he looks to keep the car on the track. That is Laggy Racer back all the way to P19. Everybody else looking to get away quite safely there. Oh my god, there's a lot of cars on the track here, and this is absolutely great stuff to see. Everyone keeping it relatively clean, apart from that initial um, shunt. Sparrow might be up to 16, and there is the Bard Tsunami, who's spun, and he's reset to track. Lex Hoddle as well, unfortunately, collected in that. This kid has been told not to reset to track, and he's done it again. Anyway, let's bring up the tires. First of all, the position changes. Agaralfi, the biggest beneficiary of four spots. Alex Theodore, Ville, Sparrow, Ahmed, Mats, and Adam Matsuyek all up three. Christian Lubinov up one. Lucas Franiak up one. And there's a bit more action going on here. Rich Puentes is getting overtaken by two drivers. Uh, Sparrow also overtake, been overtaken by Alex Theodore. As it looks like the Ferrari of Agaralfi is into the pits to change his front wing. Softs and mediums are the tyre compound of choice for this 25 lap race starting off. Derry Phillips up to 15. What happened to him? We missed that. Lex Hoddle up to 16 to the driver's pay. Alex Theodore getting involved with Rich Huentes in turn one. Manages to keep it clean. Great stuff from them. Darius Bowden leaving just by half a second. Hasn't dropped Milberg yet, even though he's on the faster compound tyre. Oh, there's a lot happening here. Side by side action further down the field. Rich Huentes seems to be in trouble here, being hounded by Sparrow Maltby. Sparrow has to back out though, just to keep it safe. Further up the field, lot, there's no large gaps here. The biggest one's Ville, who's under pressure from Alex Theodore. Callum Lyons putting a lot of pressure onto Rafael Medros, who's also putting a lot of pressure onto Vince Vincenzo into sector two. Very careful here following drivers, as there's no real overtaking zones apart from turn 12, which we will see Christian Lubinov going through now on the helicopter cam into turn 13 here and Milberg really closing in here on Darius Bowden. Darius not getting away at all even though he's got the faster tires the race is in his hands at the moment but as the track as they as the race develops the the, the, dra the speed will come to the medium compound runners and saying saying that the, a medium runner has set the fastest lap of Christian Nubna with 18.8 now Ville Magnus is setting the fastest lap at 18.7 there's a yellow flag in sector three that looks to be Derry Phillips and he's lost the car and he's reset to track as well what is going on here? We're catching all of this on stream. Whoever the steward is in F3, I hope it's not me. Oh, it's Cameron. Cameron and Bastian Vries. You will have a lot of resets to tracks to deal with. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh, my God. What are we doing, lads? Milberg staying with Darius Bowden at the moment. Anyway, now Darius got developing a bit of a delta here now to, to Milberg over seven tenths. Callum Lyons and Ahmed fighting further down the field for P9. Callum looks to have gotten the move done after disappointingly being knocked out in Q2 by only set, eight, nine thousandths of a second. And he goes, no, thirteen thousandths, I beg your pardon. He's going to be chasing down Vince Vincenzo for P8 now. 
who was hot on the heels of Lucas Zafraniak as DRS has been enabled. And we will be right on board with Lucas as he is following Matt's too hard. Side by side we go here between the Red Bull and the Mercedes. Not a whole lot of space given there by Lucas, but it's fine. Matt's closely following behind now. Not going to have DRS though. With the Ferrari, Vince Vincenzo waiting in the wings for any chance. And there's a yellow flag in sector one, and it's Derry Phillips, and he is going to retire in the pits safely. Unfortunately, that his day his day ended. As the Bard Tsunami Fed sets the fastest lap of the race. A Serbia qualifying ban and then Alex to reset the track. I don't know. Derry leaves the session. His day has ended for him. Every driver going through sector two now in this pack that's following. Massive train developing here. Villain needs to stay a part of it or he's going to be very, very vulnerable, especially as the soft tire runners behind him of Anmed, Rich Puentes, and Alex Theodore. Uh, P1 to P5, all within a second, though, with each other. Lucas Safraniak is exposed to Vince Vincenza and Mats and Callum and Ville now, who's caught up. So that is P6 all the way down to P12, all very close to each other. No safety car yet to split the strategies. As further up the field, Milebrick has gotten the move done on Darius Bowden. And he's managed to keep the position into turn one. Going to have DRS as well. Darius could be at risk from other drivers here. As Christian Lubinov having a look into turn three. Alex out of the move. Not close enough, but here he comes. Bit of contact with the rear body of the left-hand side of the car of Darius there. Everyone keeps it safe, though. On a drag race into turn four. Not enough track, though, for Christian to get the move done. And he will have to remain behind for at least a little while longer. Milberg going to get a chance to pull away now as the two drivers behind him are going to be fighting. Further down the field, can Adam Matsuyak capitalise on Christian and Darius going to be squabbling now through sector two? Bit of a shake there from Fossifer uh, on the curb at the exit of turn seven. Lucas Safraniak out of DRS range. He's going to have to use some of his battery to get back within that. All of areas, he will be exposed to Vince Vincenzo behind him. Callum Lyons very close to the back of Matt, Matt Terhard. Speaking of Callum Lyons, he gets a three-second time penalty for track limits. Coming through turn 12 now, very close to the gearbox of Matt's. Will have to remain behind now just for a little while. Manages to avoid the contact. Uh, Rob Knabel also getting a three-second time penalty. Into turn 14 we go. Will he get a better exit than Matt's? That is the question here. And it looks like he is gaining. Gaining. Is he using battery? He hasn't got any left. Going to make the move into turn one. Has a bit of a lunge there. It's okay. No contact. Mass keeps the car on the track. You do get a better exit when you're on the outside. As Callum looks to cover him off here. Defensive line. Good driving from Callum here. like to see that clever racecraft there. And he will get the position on Mass Into P8. Vince is going to have loving that fighting though as little as okay and I will just bring us a slight pause as an invite has been sent to Sparrow on the run down to sector 3 which is turn 12 the start of it that's a lovely camera we should have that more often and he is chasing down Rich Puentes in the DRS here. Will he look to make a move? The soft tire is probably beginning to drop off ever so slightly, and the mediums coming into their optimal running range here. Seven laps in, no safety car yet, thank God. As Adam Matsuya getting past Darius Bowden, Darius really struggling here at the moment. P1 in the championship. Christian Lubinov must be loving this. He's up to P2 after a disappointing qualifying Q3, must be said by him. Oh, Darius, the about Adam Matsuya in the Williams. Christian Lubinov pushing to get in the DRS of Meilberg. It doesn't look like Sparrow's back in the session just yet. As the Bard Tsunami has left the session as well. What's happened here? Oh, I think I've been kicked there. Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh. It looks like I have been yeeted out of the session, so we would love to get me, me back in. I don't know how we're going to do that. Uh, let's have a look and see if we can get lucky here. Can't join that one. 
can't join that one either. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. It looks like we're able to join back. Luckily enough, we are. And we are back now. Yes, obviously I'm in spectator mode. As we seem to have lost Agro Alfie. And has that brought out the safety car? It has. Well, of course, when we cut to commercial break, we lose everybody. We lose people. Alfie has left the session now. Unfortunately for him, his day is over. As a glass of wine has been brought to me graciously. Thank you very much, Lauren. So, under safety car, there's not a whole lot to talk about. So I will take a swig of my wine. So, Bioberg keeping P1 now. As you said, Christian into P2. Let's just check the tyres, see if anybody's actually made a stop here. Um, P13 down has made a stop. And we will see Christian Lubinov and the drivers behind him all dive into pits. Everyone's going into, into pits, I'm assuming. P5, P6. Will we see Callum? Callum, of course, as well. Mats as well. As it looks like someone's been overtaken under the pit, pit entry. It has. I think Darius has overtaken. I don't know. He's got a bit of frustration from being overtaken beforehand. He will now go up to P7 as he had pit the lap before, but it looks of it. Fair enough. That's probably a disastrous safety car for him then. Alex Theodore also not pitting up to P13. Lex Hod up to P14. So some drivers electing for the hards, some electing for the mediums. We have Milberg in the hards, Christian Lubinov as well, Adam Matsuyuk, Lucas Afraniak, Callum Lyons, Alex Theodore, Lex Hod, and Sparrow Malpe all on the hards. Ville Magnuson is on the softs for some reason. That's brave. Then the rest of the field on the mediums, we have the resetter to track Bard Tsunami on the mediums, Rob Knebel, Darius Bowden, Bossifer, Vince Vincenza, Matt Sterhart, Rafael Medros, and Rich Puentes. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. So at least one more lap of safety car here for us to follow around. As there's a lot of chat here about some Red Bull doing something naughty as Raphael says every time someone quits uh, his game freezes unfortunately for him and apparently Callum has floor damage that's it's very unlucky for Callum because he's shown great pace in qualifying just to end up now with his day being spoiled a bit We're just entering a bit of a lull in the action now, which usually is uh, what well, usually are safety car periods. There's never really much happening, unfortunately. But we can talk about the standings in the championship at the moment. Uh, currently, Christian Lubinov does lead, as I said before. And he is followed by Darius Bowden, uh, with the gap being only four points. So today will make a big difference. Uh, with Darius being P1 in quali, I think it was P1 in quali, he will be getting 12 points. So a big, big uh, haul of points potentially for him today. Could potentially go P1 in the championship. William Matthews not racing. Luke Safraniak in P4. Vince Vincenza after his win in uh, Silverstone in P5. Sparrow P6. Callum P7. Manuel Alemi, who's not, excuse me, who's not here today, is in P8. Adam Matsuyuk in P9. And the Bard Tsunami in P10. But I'd... Uh, to be honest, the Bard Stam is going to be lucky to be still racing by, by round six at this rate uh, with the amount of penalty points he is occurring. So, in that's the drivers. In the constructors, Alpine of Callum and Darius currently leading the way. They have a three point advantage over the Mercedes of Lucas and Sparrow. Then they have a one point advantage over the Sabres of Manuel and Christian. 
is how many cybers are going to be racing today? I think it's just one, is it? No, it's two. It's two. Bio is because Lex Hard's there. As a safety car will be in this lap, and Milberg will be leading the restart for us. He has to wait until the safety car goes into the pits, and then he can choose his point to go. With the objective being to catch Christian sleeping, not aware. And we will actually ride on board with Christian here. We've seen drivers go before the turn, we've seen drivers go after the turn, and it looks like Milberg is gone mid-turn. That's an unusual one, and he hasn't really caught Christian sleeping. However, Darius is right on the back of Christian's gearbox here. Rapidly closing in, electing not to make the move, but he's going to try and make the move and the outside with the switch back possible. And there's going to be a lot of chaos here. Looks to be all kept clean. Darius got on the move after a lovely switch back up to P3. Christian not giving this up, though, into turn 3. Has to elect to stay behind now or avoid a collision. Ahmed up to P10, getting the move done to Matt. Matt's dropping down two, three positions now. Uh, Snoo and Callum Lyons also fighting on the run down to turn four with Ahmed fighting, fighting closely behind him. Lex Hoddle, after dropping in position, is back up to 13th. Bard Tsunami is fighting as well. Matt's off the track, unfortunately for him, into turn five. Everyone else has seemingly kept it quite clean. Laggy Racer and Sparrow Malpy also fighting at the back of the field. Sparrow dropping all the way back into P17, unfortunately for them. Bart Snami up to P13. I just can't believe he reset the track after last week getting a qualifying ban for resetting to track. Further up the field, Darius Bowden has retaken the lead from Milberg. No DRS either to help Milberg. As Milberg takes a bit of a wide line there on turn 14. A bit of a shake as well, and that's going to compromise him. I don't think he's going to get the move done, but he is rapidly gaining here. What am I saying? As there's a bit of contact between the, the rear wheel and the front wheels there of, of uh, Milberg and Darius. On the outside now, a bit of a snap of oversteer, and that's going to let Darius sail away there. And Christian Lubinov hasn't got the pace to capitalize here. But out of nowhere comes Fossey for diving on the outside of turn three as Matt Starge retired from the session. Bios and Sparrow both in the pits. We're going to stay with this though, as Fossifer and Christian not giving this up to turn four, as Christian's been spun around, and that's the end of his day, unfortunately. The two of them there, very hard racing, and that's going to bring out the safety car again. Right. We caught that on stream. A lot to digest there for Cameron and Bastion when the inevitable reports come in. Fossifer with a few late dives there into turn three, turns three and uh, turns two and four, I think it was. So after having no safety car for the first 10 laps or so, now we've had two in just as many laps. Christian clearly not happy with Fossifer. And I don't think we'll see anyone dive into the pits. Maybe Ville. But it doesn't really make sense. He will drop to the back of the field, potentially to P13. Oh, speaking of, he has, as Matt's as well is gone. Let's see, DNFT. Thank you for leaving under safety car. There's a few drivers, four drivers in the pits. Snoo, Rich, Callum, and the Bard Tsunami. The Bard Reset, should we call him. And that will put Laggy Racer up to P9, as he has not pit. So another probably two laps of safety car here and I'm just going to drink my wine enjoy my Saturday night so Milberg and Darius have a great chance to put some, uh, some distance between themselves and Christian in the championships uh, standings now he's got P1 in qualifying now P1 in the race chance for 22 points or is it 23 for, uh, yeah 23 goes fastest lap as well if he has that so a lot to be gained here and sparrow has elected to pit as well coming out on used hard tires uh, let's just see what happens now hopefully no shunts or anything crazy under safety car we don't want to be getting penalties for silly actions boys and girls And now we're just going to wait for Lex and Sparrow to catch up. So at least one, probably just one more lap of safety car. 
The only benefit to Sparrow here is that their hot, uh, their um, uh, hard tires will be piping hot when they do catch up to the safety car. Now, just waiting on Sparrow, and we will re with the safety car will be in this lap though. See, so yeah, Hungary's normally a July race, usually after Silverstone. I think it's after Silverstone again this year. Um, brings in the uh, the summer season. Well, and then usually the summer break follows. I think Hungary, or is it before? No, no, the summer break is usually after Hungary. They have a two-week break. And then two more races than usually Zanvoort after Spa. So the last two winners here have obviously been Max Verstappen. But as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, in 2021, Esteban Ocon won here. After famously collecting the uh, collecting the pieces, picking up the pieces that was the chaos of turn one, lap one, where Bottas took out Verstappen. And Lewis Hamilton was the only driver out on slicks to be lights out and lights out only for him. And Lewis won it for three years, then Sebastian Vettel, then Lewis again, then Sebastian Vettel. And the only other driver was Daniel Ricciardo in 2014. Brings back a lot of memories there. Notably, Jensen Button won here in 2006. As a safety car will be in this lap and I can stop talking shite. Racing again with Mr. Bowden restarting for us. And he's going to let the safety car go into the pit a bit earlier this time. But when will he go? Will he go before? He's always gone long before the corner there. And he's actually got a snap of oversteer there, which has compromised him. But he's come Wildberg absolutely snoozing here. He's dropped my he dropped a second on my three seconds. As as Fossifer again looking at moves. As, as, if, as if killing Christian wasn't enough from Callum Lyons getting past Rich Ferrandez for P10. And he's gonna get that move to stick on the soft tires. The soft tires are gonna have to last 10 more laps. It's a bit of a challenge. It's doable, but it's gonna be a bit of a big ask. Villain Magnuson getting past the Bard Tsunami for P12. Them two fighting, and there's oh, there's a lot of contact there. Boat drivers managed to keep it out of the wall. That will put the Bard Tsunami all the way down to 15th, unfortunately for him. Sparrow closely following Lex Hod for P13 with, with him with uh, Lex chasing Ville. Now Darius has dropped Milberg by over a second. Clearly doing something right today. Showing some great pace. And Fossifer is not giving this up though with Milberg. Callum Lyons up to P9, overtaking Rob Knebel and Snoo overtaking Richie Puentes, which dropping two positions now. As the drivers are all very closely bunched together, Alex Theodore being the cork in the screw, as we say, with Darius Bowden setting the fastest lap of the race with a 118.224. Um, it looks like we will see a move here as Lucas Afranek is closely following in Adam Matsuyuk and further up the field, Fossifer has gotten past Milberg. However, Milberg is going to come right at him on the run down to P3, or uh, turn three. Alex Theodore as well fine with Callum Lyons and through goes Callum Lyons on the run into turn three. Alex not able to keep up with him. Zuka Safraniak also up to P5 fighting against Vince Vincenza and he is following closely with Adam Matsuyuk gaining into turn four but it will elect obviously not to make the move as that would be suicide there. Round turn five they go on the run down to the chicane. No other notable changes happening with Laggy Racer very close to the back of Alex Theodore and Ville Magnuson very close to the back of him. Ville closely, following very closely here through the S almost makes contact there midway through turn 9 I believe it is. Now as 
drop goes miles off the uh, the track there. Into turn 12 we go. No lunge there from Willie. Up to 13. And But he's going to look to make a move here. This is very ambitious for turn 13 here. Looks to have gotten the move done. Squeezes Rob there quite extensively. DRS gets enabled. Gets the move to stick now. Questionable there. On the precipice or borderline of hard racing. But here comes Rob Knable looking to fight back. Villa not giving him a lot of space, uh, space on the inside. But here comes Rob. Wooshka, wooshka there. A bit of decent in the lobby by the looks of it. And that will be the end of that skirmish. Further up the field, Lucas Safraniak very close again to the back of Adam Atsiuk. 4p4. The top four now all being separated by over a second. Vince Vincenzo following, waiting in the wings. Snoo is now fighting Alex Theodore for P9. Gets the move done. And Laggy Racer very, very close to Alex Theodore here. He's going to have to stay behind, unfortunately, for these for this next sector at least. Rich Fuente is also following behind. Callum Lyons closing rapidly back into, into the back of Ahmed. Rafael Medros less than two tenths separating them now. Willie looks to make a move into turn 12. He is going to dive in the inside. Takes a lot of curb. Looks to have gotten the move done quite cleanly as well. Rob Knable also making a move further down the field up to P10. Now, Vince Vincenzo is Callum's next target. 4P6 does have a time penalty, so he will need to make a move on as he has the faster tyres at the moment. Much faster than Vince's as his is nine laps old. DRS is activated for Callum, rapidly closing in, not going to have enough track to make the move here as Sparrow has retired from the session in the pits, but unfortunately, and Rob with a big moment there on the curb of turn one, Callum narrowly avoiding the going into the back of there and losing his wing, as, did we see something crazy? No, we didn't, as you just see the Bard Tsunami and Bios fighting further down the field. Further up the field, uh, Darius Bowden has dropped Fossey for by nearly three seconds, two and a half seconds, great stuff from him. With Lucas Safraniak closing in and Adam Matsuyak manages to stay with him for the last few, la uh, few laps. Going to have to follow through for the se S's in Sector 2. Managing to do so, will, but with this distance, will not be making a lunge into Turn 12. Unless Adam has a big moment here, which he does not. Alex Teeter getting a three-second time penalty for track limits. And nothing really happening there. Ville, who's already made one ambitious move into turn 13, will not make another, but does make contact with the back of Ahmed's uh, gearbox there. Has a little snap of oversteer as a result. Ahmed goes in there for a second. Hopefully no internet issues for him as he is the host. Now, will Ville make a move? He will not. He's gotten the worst exit than Ahmed. Probably used to that snap of oversteer as well. But Lucas Safraniak and Adam Matsyuk, this has been brewing for a while. Lucas getting the move done, and Adam has been dropped by Lucas. Further down the field, Bios has overtaken the Bard Tsunami. And Vince Vincenza has... Oh, Vince Vincenza has been spun there in turn three... In turn two, sorry. And he's been dr straightly driven through by Ville Magnussen. That was a bit naughty. And Ville and the Aston Martin of Ahmed also coming to blows as he gets a three-second time melody. I think he was ran off the road there. Hard to say. Oof. And Ahmed has been spun around into turn four. Another three-second time penalty for the Bard Tsunami. Ahmed's day has gone from bad to worse, unfortunately for him. Vince Vincenza and Snoo fighting now. As I think Vince is letting through there. Maybe there is an illegal overtake. We're not too sure. As Laggy Racer arriving on the scene as well, overtaking Vince due to him letting through Snoo. A lot of battles and track happening here. Snoo gets another three-second time penalty. I think it's his second in the lap. Or second in as many laps anyway. And this has let Lucas Safrania kind of get away here. Um, as Adam Matsuyek... Well, not really, but anyway. As Ville dives into the pits. Will that be a retirement from him? We'll tell in a second if he speeds. It's not going to be a retirement, no. And as a result, that puts Richard Bias and the Barrage Tsunami all up places. And he has actually retired from the session indeed. So only one driver now outside the points, which is Anbed. This is a lot of desync due to that, uh, due to Snoo leaving the session. Oh my, hopefully everyone's okay. And Adam closely now playing, playing the cat in this game of cat and mouse with Lucas. And he's being very closely followed by Callum Lyons as well. 
Count very, very close here. I think he's going to like to make a move soon. Almost comes into contact with the back of Adam's um, rear wing there. Following closely for the S's. If he keeps this pace up and then keeps this distance up, he will be able to make a move into turn 12. However, he has been dropped a tiny bit here by, uh, by Adam. Not going to make a move here. His Bios and Rich are also fighting. No move there done by Callum. Bit away now. Needs to stay close here. Needs to get a better exit in turn 14. As Adam will have DRS. Thanks to Lucas. Further up the field. Darius Bowden in a race of his own. Two and a half seconds away. Oh, and here we go. Callum, is he gaining? He's not really. He's very slightly gaining, but not enough track to make the move here. As Rich dives into the pits. No move there from Callum. Rich gets a five second penalty for speeding the pit lane. That probably signals a retirement for him. No, it's not. We'll drop him down to P13, though, unfortunately for him. And further up the field, it looks like our podium setters, our top three, has been set now. Four laps to go. Unless anything dramatic happens here, I don't see any major changes. However, the race for P4 is well and thoroughly on. With Lucas and Adam having the tyre differential advantage now as those softs are going to be quite well weathered at this point in the race as they're eight laps old hards can really go to oblivion here they can go from they can go to the end of the race no problem with no real deg laggy racer now has really dropped off the pace from this little pack that's formed of, of these three racers uh vince vincenzo needs to catch up as well as uh, Rob does have a time penalty, so he will be P7 as it stands. Let me just check the penalties here. Uh, Rob's got six seconds, so P7 is guaranteed essentially here for Vince. The question is, can he get P6? I don't think he can. I think it's just too much of a gap with three laps to go. Adam Matsuyak and Callum very close to each other here. No moves being made. Vince Vincenza very close to the back of Bios. Bios must have overtaken them there as we were watching the other drivers there. And now that's actually an overtake for track position as well. No penalties in play here. As Vince has been kind of dropped a bit by uh, Lex Hod. Callum closing in though and Adam. He needs a bit of work to do if he gets past him. He still has to bring out a three second uh, gap. If he wants to get P6, as Rob Canale gets another three-second time penalty, four track limits, unfortunately for them. So a total of 60 in efforts at the moment. As Rich is back into the pits again. I'm not entirely sure what he's diving for. But we will stay on board with Callum at Adam, as this battle is the closest battle we have on track at the moment. And Lucas Afranic has managed to get evade the DRS of Adam Matsuyuk as well. Now one, over one second the gap, he will be at risk to Callum. But it looks like he doesn't he doesn't have DRS. Callum does have DRS. He's gonna have another helping of it now after turn one. Just as long as he doesn't get a snap of overstep by getting greedy on the throttle here, which it appears to have not done so. Will be gaining here with DRS. Doesn't actually gain all that much, if anything. But Adam gaining three tenths there, true turns two and three. We'll put him back in DRS if he can follow Lucas closely for the next two sectors of this lap. And he's actually dropped Callum a bit as well by two tenths. Three seconds the gap now between Darius and Philosopher and Meilberg. And two and a half seconds from Meilberg to Lucas. Bard Tsunami getting another three second time penalty for track limits. And I dare to say there's a few more penalties coming his way. Big snap there from Lucas, but he manages to save the car just in time. And that's going to cost him to... Uh, Adam has gained nearly... He's gained over half a second this lap. Great stuff from Adam. Really on a charge now for that P4. Hasn't got a whole lot of battery left. And neither does Lucas, so that won't play a massive factor as we go into this last lap. Is the final lap? No, sorry. One more lap to go after this. Callum Lyons rapidly closing it, looking to make a move, sells the dummy, but Adam doesn't bite. Adam not without, without DRS either. 
And here comes Callum Lyons again looking to, to try and do it sell dummy. To no avail. And I think that's going to be all she wrote for the battle for P5 anyway. With P6 all but guaranteed as Rob Kinable has a host of time penalties. However, Adam has went very wide there. He has to be very careful not to get a three second time penalty. Rob Kinable with another three second time penalty. For track limits. I don't know what he's doing. He's having a bad day at the office. After being involved in a turn one lap one incident. Callum still staying very close to the back of Adam. I think he's just having fun at this point. He knows he can't actually get P5. And Lucas all but guaranteed with P4 now as well with one lap to go. However, as Rich uh, Puentes, it's the fastest lap of the race with 117.8. Good on you, lad. Because he did pitch for fresh tyres. So, Callum very close to the back of Adam. Will he actually get a move done here now? Last, this is realistically his last attempt to do so. Rapidly closing in. Defensive line from Adam here. Adam backs out last second to go on the outside. Callum on the inside hasn't gotten the move to complete yet. And it looks like he's gotten the move now. But uh, here comes Adam Matsuyuk with a better exit as the outside gives you better traction. Who will get the rundown here into turn three? Side by side we go. And now Callum will be on the inside and have gotten that move completed by the time we get to turn four. Good stuff from him, but I think it's too little too late. There's a lot of grey clouds beginning to form as it's quite overcast at the, towards the end of the race here. Vince being dropped by Lex. And that, unfortunately, will put him into P9 uh, as Ahmed and the Bard Tsunami are fighting. Ahmed getting past him. And... That looks like all she wrote for this race, ladies and gentlemen. With barring any major changes. However. Nothing else really playing a massive part here. It will be Darius Bowden to cross the line in P1 as he destroys his car in celebration. Congratulations to you, Fossey, for MP2, who is going to be sure to get a penalty for his murder of Christian Lubinov, Marburg P3, Lucas Zafraniak in P4, well done to you sir. Callum Park, Kurt Lyons crosses the line in P5, it will end at P6, Adam Matsuek in P5, Lex Hod in P7, Vince Vincenzo P8, Laggy Racer finished the line, uh, crossed over in P7, but will finish P9 due to penalties. Alex Theodore will finish P10, but will lose the place to Ahmed who finishes P10 after an incident with Villain Magnussen. Bard Tsunami P12 and Rich Puentes in P13. As I'm not entirely sure what's happening with the Bard Tsunami. It seems to have DNF'd. And that will make... That will lead to Rich Puentes finishing in P, uh, P12. Very strange stuff. And that's all she wrote, folks. For... This week's race in F3. As we will just wait to quickly get the race director and conclude the stream where you can jump over to Matthew Wright's in F2 at the moment. In their own wars. I hope you've enjoyed today's race. Calm, very happy with his uh, finish there. Raphael not too happy with Snoo after their incident. As we see our podium finishes for now. So just again, one final confirmation of the drivers. Darius Bowden, P1, Fossifer, P2, Milberg, P3, Lucas Ferrani, P4, Adam Atsuyuk in P5, Callum Lyons, P6, Lex Harden, P7, Vince Vincenzo in P8, Laggy Racer in P9, and mid P10, Alex Theodore and Richard Parent is rounding out our point finishers. The Barden Tsunami, Snoo, Little Dragon, Me, Christian Lubinov, Masterhard, Alfie, and Derry rounding out the DNFers and non point setters. I'm just going to get the race director for anyone who needs it. And there is a lot of instance here, as we see. And that will do us for F3. Tune in next week where we are in Las Vegas for round five of season 12 of ERO. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you again. Good night.